Hello everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd bringing you another episode of Dio Vindici, the Confederate States of America mod for Hearts of Iron 4, created by CSA Badass. We are on episode 9 of our series, just had to check the, the paperwork there. And uh, after this, we'll have three more episodes unless we have an outpouring of support. Now, I have had a lot of support, and I thank you for that. This this is a fun mod. I know we haven't really gotten into it, but we're only in 1940. Um, and I did go for peace with the United States instead of um, instead of going for uh, closer ties with, with Great Britain. But maybe in your playthrough, you'll have more of an exciting playthrough. Um, but go ahead and download that from Steam and check out the the mod page on the Paradox forums, which uh, both of which you can uh, find links to below in the description. So in our last episode, we had uh, the agriculture... Hey, you're just like going right across my border there. Uh, we had the Agriculture Bureau, which greatly improved our construction. Uh, might be a little bit broken, but that's okay. A little bit broken is just fine by me. Um, so we're going to start pounding out these things uh, relatively quickly. Um, looks like we have our Commonwealth Air Training is going to finish up here soon. In which case, we probably should start focusing on actual military things. Uh, well, I guess we're doing that with our airplanes here. Um so maybe have the hurricane then, yeah, because that helps us with the, with all of the fighter models is to get that, and then once we get the hurricane, we'll come over to, the army army modernization. I don't know why I'm slurring my words here, but I think that's good. What, who we are increasing? I think it's down here in Cuba. We're increasing party support for democracy. Are we doing that? We are not doing that down here. So they, yeah, okay, they still have to go to war with us. Um, that's good. All right, so they're very democratic. Was it here in Sonora? That's where I'm doing it. Sonora. Although, do I really want to do that? Uh, if they stay non-aligned, see, with Democrat, they may want it. Well, why don't we just cancel it anyways to get those points back? Hmm, free dockyard. Thank you, thank you. And do we want to look at this of getting something else out? Battleship, just don't see it being useful right now. Maybe start work on subs. Yeah, why don't we just start work on submarines then? Oh, the 1939 election saw Vice President John Nance Garner and his running mate House Speaker William B. Bankhead carry the banner of traditional Democratic conservatism against the resurgent Whig ticket of Tennessee Sen Senator Cordell Hall and South Carolina Senator James F. Burns. Uh, let's see, what do the Whigs get us? Oh, that, that's not good. Yeah, I think let's keep the, the Democrats in power there. And there's John Nance Garner the fourth. Yes, negative uh, 15 to our national unity would not be good. We already have low unity due to the National Mobilization Act. An act that is quite necessary. Okay, we're getting more of our tank brigades up and running. Uh, we're getting that from we're getting a lot from exercises. I think we have one more brigade. Yep, one more tank brigade. So why don't now nah, we're gonna let that run through. Oh, it'd be good if I unpause it. We're gonna let that run through and, and to continue to train even though it's costing us material because we want to get that army experience up in order to change up some divisions that we have. This is running at full strength, producing about three a day. That is not a lot. I do need a new national focus here. Like I said, we're going to go with the 
hurricanes on this. That way it's just easier to produce it. Now, I do believe we're researching the Spitfires, but that'll get done before this, which should affect how quickly we get done. It should cut the number of days down on, on researching that. All right. Devoting most of our resources to getting the, um, the stens built and produced. I know we're producing these. Uh, I think really we're just upgrading right now. So that's fine that we're, we're creating, we're building that, and then we'll just move over to the Spitfire. It just kind of continues on and on, uh, rolling like that. Right, we start getting quite large here. That's just the naval, level one naval base, level seven. Why don't we change this to, oh, we can send it right to the fleet. I forgot about that. There to Florida, there to Florida, and then we'll move our group two, move that down here. And actually, I'll just go back and change this, and we'll send that to the, the Navy group two. I will have to rename that, because that's not a very fun name at all. Um, I don't know what these are called. Oh, these are just called fleets. Okay. Uh, I think we got an issue here. There we go. Okay. And then we'll go with the mm, yeah, improved infantry equipment then. All right. Uh, what do we want to call this? The uh, Seams Battle Fleet. And I guess all we have left is towers to put in, in charge of that. Let's make sure these go on the right things. Yep. These up here. We'll put them with the, the submarine fleet. No. Um, let's put them with the Caribbean right now. All right, so we are now focusing on, let's see, aircraft design. Supermarine. And that's strategic bombers, naval bombers, yeah, we'll go with this, the submarine, supermarine, sorry. Oh good, military factories are done being built, somehow. And devote that to our tank production. I don't know how we're getting those advances, but uh, South Carolina, we're getting a lot of... There we go, just got a new one. Uh, 1.29, uh, that's six per year, that's pretty good. The problem is I think we need another ship in here. I want to put it to that for our, sub, for our submarines, but I think we need another ship in here. We have a destroyer, a battle cruiser. And we need something else, right? We have a battleship itself, but that, that's a lot. It takes a lot. Denmark has capitulated. That's not good. Maybe a light cruiser? Um... You have no naval experience. This is the Choctaw class. It's going to be done 13 days, and we still have until October to start producing the new one. So we'll just have to watch that. We'll just increase that to one, so it'll be one and done.
Yeah, I guess we should start looking at, uh, I guess, some of the other ships there. Slowly but surely increasing our our experience. Oh, actually, we're not getting that much from exercises. We're only getting 0 0.039. So uh, about, uh, what is that, about 70%. 65% of what we're getting from our advisor. You know, it's not the best, but it'll do. And then these guys, we're just still waiting for this to trigger. I guess it's just not going to trigger. Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. Fighter attack when they have independence guaranteed. And there's the Choctaw class. So that's Mobile class of a light cruiser. Yeah, why don't we do that so that we have it ready to go when we start building the new light cruiser. There's 30 days left on the, the Lee, which is our medium tank. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about the outdated tech. It's all good. Yeah, so I want to wait to start making some of the marine divisions until um, until we have enough to, to really bolster this, which is to put engineering company with it. And where's their supply usage, production, artillery. Is a signal company? That's initiative. And a recon company with it. See, we're already up to, oh, well, we have 40. But then I wanted to add, I want to go deep or width. Um, can we put, can we put light tank with it? I don't know if we can. We don't have enough for it though. Marines. See, then we just, so that's too much to do that. So that's why we kind of want more, more army experience. All right, we're going to start this. And we're trying to get this thing built as quickly as possible. So we're going to set it to there. Get these infrastructure for our supplies build it up, built up. All right, we don't have any more factories being, civilian factories being built, but I think that's going to be all right. Yeah, this, this base will be nice. A, 10, a level 10 base. We built up our base in Puerto Rico. So we're going to, well, we're going to build that up a little bit. All right. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Probably put, uh, build some synthetic refineries. We don't have a lot of space, do we? Oh, Louisiana we do. Oh, good. Oh, we can only build one. And that'll help us with our rubber production. And I don't really want a heavy. All right, artillery, where are we at on this? Artillery upgrade. Yep, I'll do that. And then I think, well, I guess we should look at some doctrine then as well. I don't think we need another political advisor. Um, carrier and capital ships, don't really have too many of those. Is a battle cruiser considered a capital ship? That's the question. I 
Um, ba, ba, ba. Large capital ship. I guess it is. All right. Armor. We're not going to build any carriers. So I think Newport News is the way to go for that one. And we get more military factories, apparently. I don't know where we're getting these from, but it's it's a welcome, welcome addition. All right, so there's the Spitfire. I'm going to wait for this to be done. All right, we're going to change this to... See what we can get out of here. Um, reliability and engines. Ooh, just a little too much. Range. Uh, I think reliability would be good. All right, so where's my Mark One right here? All right, so once again, we have to upgrade everything. I do have a research slot. Wow, we could already get 50% Hungary Second Vienna Award. Right, let's do some air doctrine here. Right, we're waiting on until October for the for the battle cruiser to get done here, this Chickasaw class. All right, we have filled our light tank finally. We're going to just keep on producing. Actually, I'm going to bring that back by one. And... I'll devote it to these, to the Spitfires. Treaty of Craiova. More concessions have been forced on legionary Romania, with Bulgaria reclaiming southern Dubrovnia. Territory was annexed, blah, blah, blah. And there we go. War with Finland. All right. They are still training. Good. Not getting any training that way. Air experience gain. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Each generation chance. Um, nothing to give us. Let me get his bomber. Oh, that bomber and deception. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Air superiority is pretty nice too. Try to pick up one of those whenever we start a war. I wonder if we're going to get um, just pulled into the general conflict because with uh, the Japanese and the United States. I think I might have left on historical accuracy, if I remember correctly. We'll just have to see how that comes about. But for right now, we're gonna we're gonna end it here. Another lack of action, but at least we're getting uh, really modernizing our equipment and expanding our industry and infrastructure. Um, so those are all good things. I thank everyone for watching this episode of Dio Vendici, and I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, click on that thumbs up and leave a comment below. I really would like to hear from you, and um, be sure to share this around on the internet. If this is your first time here, thank you for watching. Go ahead and click on that red subscribe button. Let's me know that I'm doing a great job and that you want to see more Grand Strategy games from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Till next time, everyone, good night and good luck.